Hey Looters, Pete here. It's Wednesday, November 4th, and this is Looter News. Harry Potter fans, prepare to be happier than Snape handing out detention slips to orphans with glasses. This Friday, Entertainment Weekly will feature Eddie Redmayne as Newt Scamander from the upcoming film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, for muggles not in the know, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a prequel set in the Potter universe, and Newt Scamander himself is a best-selling author in the world of Harry Potter. Set in New York in 1926, Fantastic Beasts not only expands on the book, famous to witches and wizards the magical world over, it will also take us somewhere that Harry Potter has yet to go, America. You heard me. The cover of Entertainment Weekly will also feature the Magical Congress of the United States of America, or MACUSA, which is the American version of the Ministry of Magic housed inside the Woolworth Building, because we're not cool enough to get castles which is so very sad. Now, if you're looking for real beasts, apparently the place to find them is off the coast of Parga in Greece. A Scottish tourist took a very interesting photo there while on vacation that's getting a lot of attention. The tourist Harvey Robertson was sailing through some sea caves, which is an incredibly cool sentence, and took out his iPhone to snap a pic of the beautiful water. Apparently, this awakened some of the old gods slumbering in the deep, and he ended up taking a picture of what people are calling a sea monster. The creature, resembling a long gray manatee went completely unnoticed by Robertson or his family until they later went through his pictures. This naturally means that the beast will haunt their nightmares forever. Robertson is quoted as saying, I have no idea what it is. I've sent the pictures to various marine biologists across the planet and no one has any idea. Some scientists are speculating that it's a very young Cuvier beaked whale while some of the internet commenters are saying that it's anything from a weird hippo to the Loch Ness Monster on vacation. There are of course three important things that we all need to consider. One, the creature's image is distorted by the water, so getting a positive ID is gonna be almost impossible. Two, we should all remember those various monsters people have found in the past, like the Montauk Beach Monster, which was actually just a dead raccoon. And three, there's probably already an old salty ship captain with a harpoon hunting this thing down and ready to give his life in the pursuit. So, looters, do you like what you see in these new Fantastic Beasts images? And what do you think that the Parga sea monster really is? Let us know in the comments and make sure to check the description to see if you won the three months of loot that we gave away on Monday. Like, subscribe, and have a great Wednesday. Buddy!